Greetings, this is Gynthian, and today we are playing Minecraft 1.18 in Survival. This is my permanent base that I've been working on. If you saw my last episode, you would know that this is after it's been lit up. This was very dark. Now it is lit up and ready to go. I'm now going to take some time and collect some resources like the iron and the coal. I have plenty of iron pickaxes on me. And then we're going to start working on the entrance. And I will be back with you in just a moment. Welcome back, and I am now going to be working on this staircase. I've got to build it all the way to the bottom of the mountain, and it will take me a while. I'll come back and check in with you later. Hello, I just wanted to give you a project update, and we are working way too close to this lava. This is not good. Not good. I'm going to eat some pork. That should help keep me alive. And let's see how that goes. Okay, and we are good. So I'm gonna keep working on this and give you another update in a minute. Here we're back, and that's not good. That's worse, I'm in the lava. That's taking lots of damage. That's worse. And, yeah. That didn't go so well. Hmm. Okay. Let's regroup. Press respawn. And we're alive. Did I hear? It sounded like a... Yeah, it's a pillager. I don't know where he is. But anyway, I'm going to take the bucket of water. And pour it on the lava. That'll generate a lot of cobblestone and then I will work my way down and see how this goes. I think I can turn most of this lava into cobblestone which will help me continue to build this and at the very least will prevent me from being burned alive again. Well, that worked well. So now let's take a look further down. I'm going to keep this up and then I'll be back. And we are back and that seems to take care of a great deal of the what who Oh no we don't. Die. 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 So, that's the end of him. Now let's take a look at what we've got so far. I got... Well, I'm not done with the stairs, but... I think I'm tired of messing with this. So, I'm going to take a break from this and head back over. I need some wheat. So I'm gonna work on that. Let's head back to the base. And you know what? I think I need to build a, a path or a road or something so I can go back and forth with, I don't know, more confidence. I really shouldn't use my sword for this. And we'll get some of the seeds. Add a hoe. Plant the wheat. And then I can use the hoe and go get the next line. And plant the wheat again. And then we're gonna, 
I think we're gonna dig. We're gonna make some more rows. I'm gonna work on this and come back with an update in a few minutes. And we're back. And as you can see here, this is what I got done. A approximately four or five rows of wheat. Now I need to put some of this stuff away and work on smelting. I think that's what I'll do. I've got, it's out of fuel. I've got a bucket. I wanna show you what I'm gonna use all this lava for. You just scoop it up and then you can take it down in here, drop the bucket in. Bucket will go immediately into the chest, take it back and go get some more lava. I'm gonna put some other things in. I wanna smelt in here, which is in the hopper. So they will all get fed through as soon as the copper is done. And I think I'll do, do the iron over here. And go get another bucket. already used some of this up. I think I will continue using it until it is gone. And there you have it. That will work and it will smelt this all down. And then that'll be good. Welcome back and I have actually gotten some stuff done. So I wanna show you around and let you know what's different. And then we'll go for some mining. I built the road, path, whatever you wanna call it. And I like the way this looks. Not sure about the brownish color. Path blocks are great, but you never not that appealing. I've added some large trees. You see there. I added the la uh, lanterns. And I built the staircase. We can go all the way up. That's there. You can see the base over there. And the path. We'll go the rest of the way up. And you can see what's here. Uh, I had a run-in with some pillagers. And this is the upper base. And so these are largely stocked so that I can, with coal I mean, I got a bunch of iron ingots. Check all of these, that was, that's full, full. That one's not, that one's not. That one's not. Then I got the chests, which are ready for storage. Currently have nothing in them, but aren't too bad. As you can see, this is largely the same. And I think I'm gonna head back down. But I promise you, it will not take you as long to get back to the base as it took me. But now we're there. And you can see here I've got a composter. I'm going to find some greeneries, seeds, wheat, trees, seedlings, and stuff these into, well, that's all the bread. I have plenty of bread right now stuff these into the composter and then I can show you how the composter feeds in and automatically creates a bunch of bone meal. So I'll just put those things in there and they will feed in to that you do that. You can see them fill up and when it fills up the composter spits out the bone meal into the chest. Next, I want to go prepare for some mining. Just need to get more mining done. Got to collect this iron. 
Still don't have diamonds. Have to do it somehow. So let me get two more picks. And then let's head down to the mine. That's still working. And down we go. Much faster. This is my mine. I've been working on this for quite some time. Well, actually not. It's been a short mine I've been, but it's where I found some of the stuff. I want to mine further down into this. So I've got my torches. I don't need shears. Torches. And we'll just... The nice thing is mobs don't spawn if it's light. And that's any light level. Which is different than it was before the latest update. So I'm going to mine this all out. And I don't want the floor to be lower. So let me put a torch there. And then I can fill this back in with stone that looked like it was never done this way and then I can go back to mining so ooh, light uh, loop the word is lapis that's the blue stone I was talking about but that's not the one I'm talking about now I have found my second set of diamonds after I mine these, I will have 14 diamonds, and then we're leaving and getting out of the mine. As we head back up, it is pouring rain, absolutely pouring, and we can sleep with my diamonds, which is always good. And the weather gets improved, and we are... Did you see the dog shake? That's so adorable. Now, I need to make a diamond pick. Because I need more obsidian. Because I don't have a diamond pick that's enchanted, and I need to make a diamond pick so I can then get a obsidian and then of course build a enchanting table there's my pick and I once again have an inventory problem so let's see if I can sort this out I drop the sticks and then I will check no space no space no space, but I can move some stuff up there that creates some space. And move that up, and now I got the sticks again. And now I can mine this block. The diamond pick will take forever. See? It just takes a long time with the diamond pick with no enchantment. That gets me one, and again, no inventory space. What can I say? Let me put some stuff away. In fact, let me just clear out a bunch of stuff. By the way, the green block Moss block, I think it's my new favorite. I'm going to be doing a lot of things with it. And we have the ice bucket challenge. Very cool. Now all I need to do is get some more obsidian. The trick is to do this without getting burned, damaged, or killed. And it is painful to watch how long it takes to mine obsidian. We're gonna clear out some of this area. I need the bucket again. And I can take that one. Dump it over here. Take that one. There. Take that one. 
there. Now I can put some stone, cobblestone in this area and put some cobblestone here. Now we can mine out some of these blocks. Get some more stone. Fill in these lava blocks. I don't want to die or get harmed once again. Move this lava. Move that lava. I know, it's terribly riveting stuff. I need some more stone. Fill this in now. And there we go. Now back to mining. It would be nice to have something clever to say while mining obsidian, but it is such a difficult task when you don't have any enchantments. So, but it's something that just has to be done. Here we go. And there we have it. Now let's go back to the crafting table. And there it is. Four obsidian, two diamonds. And I have it. Next stop, we're gonna do some crafting and get some enchantments. And here we are being distracted a couple hundred blocks away. I tunneled out here and I decided to run out here real quick for a purpose. I want to look for some sugar cane and I believe I saw some out here when I was out last out here. So now it's just a matter of going and finding it. And we're still looking and I'm there it is. There it is. And I'm getting some lag for some stupid reason. But let me collect this and then we'll get back. Why? Well, I gotta kill some cows first. So, I wanna collect the leather. And now we're back doing what we originally intended. Which is to build the area to utilize the enchanting enchantment table. And then we can get some enchantments. So let me put this in place. I've got enough bookshelves. And let's see how I go get some. Yeah, I had to go get some lapis. So, let's see what we get. I'm breaking three. I'm an enchanter. Looks like that's excellent. Unbreaking three and level four. Um, maybe not. Let's check something else. Efficiency four. I could live with that. I realize it's only an iron hoe, but It'll do the job. Check the sword again. Now we've got Shark Mystery. And Unbreaking 3. Awesome. Now I got a sword that can do some damage. What's left? I'm unbreaking 3. Might as well. Of course, now I'm going to have to get some levels. 
clean the area up, added a chest to put the lipus in, lapis, and I believe we are coming to the end of today's video. Please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so that you can be notified of future content. Thank you for watching and goodbye. If you're still here, you may have heard this one. What's the difference between a thermometer and a rectal thermometer? The answer? Taste.